Hey everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thanks for joining me on today's Smile Maker. And you say, well, Tony, don't all these cars here make you smile? I'm like, yeah, they do. However, some make you smile more than others. And here's what I mean by that. Think about uh, pickup trucks in high school, college, grandfather had one, you know, all of these memories that were made uh, in trucks, dates and parties and kegs and tailgating and all that stuff. Look now how popular trucks have become. These are selling for well over $100,000 now, beautifully restored like this. This is an amazing piece of not only history, but good looks and craftsmanship. As we walk around this car, you're gonna see trucks, sorry. We walk around this truck, you're gonna see so much work and detail done to this. It is amazing to figure a way to get it in your garage and I wanna help you do that. All right, so listen, let's talk about, let's talk about restoration levels. If you wanted to show this truck, um, the truth of the matter is it's over restored. It's actually so much nicer than the original version. It's over restored. You could get deductions for it being too nice. How crazy is that? If you were going to like a, a national GM event, if you're going to a car show, local car show and stuff like this, this is a smile maker. Everybody's going to love this. This is the original dark, uh, red metallic with the white trim there. The Silverado package, the interior with that looks super, super nice. This is really amazing paint. And some cool stuff about this I like to say too, is like when you have a truck like this that's had years spent to restore it, all been done, somebody drove it for a little bit and now they moved on to something else, this is the way to buy it, right? You're buying it for, for so much less than it would cost to restore it, not to mention two to three years to restore one if you could find someone to work on it today. My point is that if you don't love these wheels, okay? They make the other set of Chevrolet wheels that are nice looking too. You could put a set of custom wheels on it. If you wanted to change this grill to like the billet grill, you could do that, right? It's a couple little touches to it if you wanted to make it your own that way. Or if you wanted to leave it pure stock, you could do that combination, whatever. I'm happy to help you do that because this is what we do here. We fix up stuff and make them our own, right? We just love cars and trucks. Uh, most importantly though, the paint is the, is, the, is the feature that most people ask about. And why do I do this test of the test with the paper on the truck? And that is because pictures can be manipulated. I say, listen, you're probably looking at other vehicles on the web. Don't know why you would ever go out the safety of the circle. But let's say you were looking at another truck out there. The video is important, man. It shows you the quality of the vehicle, right? Pictures can be manipulated. The video shows us what we got. So I want to give you a lesson on paint real quick. And that is when you're looking at the quality of paint, don't look at just the paint. Look at what's in the paint. Well, what do you mean by that, Tone? Well, what I mean by that is look at the ceiling and the lights in there. Look at the reflection of an emblem or the camera lens. Is it crystal clear? I mean, crystal clear and sharp, or is it a little bit fuzzy? If it's a little bit fuzzy, that means the paint's not as shiny as you might want it to be. In the case of this here, you can see this, and that's what I mean when I say over-restored. GM truck paint was never this nice. Never this nice. That is beautiful. Look how crystal clear it is. Look at the ceiling, the lights, the beams up there. Super, super great looking. So listen, if I was gonna build a truck, restore it like this, cause I love the look of this stock truck, right? Maybe I'd do a couple small things if I wanted to make it my own, but what I would do is 100% this here, and that is go to modern GM power, fuel injection, uh, aluminum parts, hit the key, whether it's five degrees outside or 105 degrees outside, it doesn't care power disc brakes, all painted and detailed in here beautifully, all new wiring, new radiator, new hoses, new power steering, new steering box, uh, new uh, wipers, washers, blowers, fans, battery, like so much stuff just in here. That's why when people say uh, these trucks cost in between 60 to 100,000 to restore, not counting the truck, right? Depending on the level of restoration, not even counting the truck, this is in that upper level because you have so many new things in here. You'd open the hood, you'd be proud to go to a car show. There's even a couple of things of engine dress up we could do if you wanted to as well. Maybe a cool cover that would go over top here. They sell some of that as well. Maybe a chrome alternator, whatever. Anyway, my point is uh, that it's so restored, these tiny little minor inexpensive things kind of make it your own and it becomes even a whole nother level above and you had a hand in doing it yourself. And one last thing before we go, we have 100% more power, 100% more power than the original factory V8 that was in here. This truck moves down the road well. Not that you're going to be using it to haul stuff. You may. That's up to you. But the point is, it definitely uh, goes much better than it did in the past. 
All right, so I really wanted to show you some special things under here. Just how detailed everything is. Again, back to the video part versus photos. Um, this is way nicer than uh, the original. You can take mirrors to a show and put them underneath the truck here. It's that nice, right? But more importantly, the detail stuff is what I want you to see. Like when, when you get a restored vehicle, there are restored vehicles and there are restored vehicles. Here's what I mean by that. So for instance, like this right here, like all of this is brand new, right? Um, with the plastic sleeve on it here so it doesn't scratch, right? Uh, all painted, this is done the way it's supposed to, new chrome, new brackets, new taillight lenses, the taillight screws, like every nut and bolt, right? So check this out, and then you just reverse these uh, to turn it into this type of tailgate. All right, and I want to point out just a couple small things in here. First off, the bed is spectacular. I believe this is uh, cherry. Uh, these are stainless, but these are the things that I wanted you to see. These are stainless fasteners. You say, Tone, why are you spending 10 minutes on stainless fasteners? Well, because stainless fasteners cost 10 times the price of a regular fastener. Why? Well, because they have to go through a different process and B, they last so much longer and keep this bed looking the way it should, right? Why not take a couple lawn chairs and go to a concert or an event or go see some friends, put some chairs and a cooler in there? This is clear coated over. You can do that. Uh, and then if you decide that you want to uh, turn this into a tailgate party, we got this as well. I got soft jeans on, so I'm not scratching it, but you'd also put down a little blanket if you wanted to, if you're nervous about that. It's just super nice and it's ready to go. And it's like a brand new vehicle, circa 1970s. It's nice to have your little bad company, circa 1970s, doing a 70s video uh, on this truck. Anyway, so you're walking up to your cool truck. Bad company is playing in the background here, right on time, probably would be even better inside, okay? I do this part of the video because I want you to walk up and I want you to see your vehicle. I want you to see what it looks like that everybody else is going to see as well, because you're gonna spend most of your time inside there it's already great looking. However, once you're inside here, you're going to be like, wow, that is super nice. Let's get started. All right. In here, all new carpets, GM floor mats, right? I want to spend a minute on GM floor mats alone because they're three or four times the price of regular floor mats. Why is that a big deal? If I wanted to do a cheap restoration, I can get away with just tan mats. I don't need to spend the money on that. I don't need to buy all of this trim, the Silverado trim that's in here as well, right? I don't have to have tack and gauges in here. This has, uh, this has all those gauges in here, volts, oil pressure, fuel, temp, all the things that you'd want uh, in, a, in a vehicle like this. Tilt wheel, right? Four speed. Here's something cool too. Not only do we have uh, this great console, but all this stuff is new. This is a modern upgrade here. It has USB charging ports. 1978 we didn't, or 76 or 75 or 72, whatever it is uh, we're talking about. We are talking about uh, a time when there was no USB. <laughs> Which brings me back to my closing part of being inside this interior. Here's what I suggest sometimes to people. I say this, I say, you know, that we have so much feed. We got all that noise from, uh, from the boss feed, from the home feed, from Instagram, from Facebook, and all this dinging and eBay, like it's, it's noise all the time. Drive this truck to work on a Friday. Call whoever is that you're on the way home and say, I'm on the way home. I'll see you when I get there. And shut off the feed, man. Put on some good tunes in here. Go for a drive, and it is a game changer. You're going to really, really, really love that. Lastly... If you don't love the four speed in here, this can be converted to an automatic if you wanted to. And uh, we can discuss that on uh, the next round. But anyway, we got four wheel drive. We got all the good parts. They've all been rebuilt uh, and everything is ready to go. Enjoyment is ready for you. All right, so we close up this video. Let's talk about some stuff that makes sense, right? Complete nut and bolt, frame off, total restoration, everything taken apart. New wiring, new uh, engine transmission, uh, brakes, brake lines, hoses, belts, uh, interior Silverado trim. What we looked at great paint. We looked at the cool two-tone piece of this here and all this new stainless. The simple fact that you can even buy this stuff still is pretty amazing. You're essentially looking at a brand new vehicle that's had just kind of test miles put on it. I believe that it's one of the nicest ones that we've ever had. Uh, not to mention it might be one of the nicest ones out there, period. What you don't get from a video right now in this conversation is 
how great it drives and it drives like it is new and it is solid and it is so powerful and so fun and makes you smile just talking about it. Anyway, call us 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this K10 4x4. And uh, if you don't mind, hit the uh, like button down below. It helps get our message out. I really appreciate that. Share it with your friends. They might like some of the content too. And uh, subscribe to the channel. we got new stuff coming out all the time. And I'll see you on the test drive. I'm doing the startup video with my little foot right over here. You know why? Because uh, in vehicles like this with fuel injection, old school, but modern fuel injection cars, you don't need to pump the gas. It doesn't matter whether it's 100 out, it's 105 out or five out. It starts every time. And this has a great sound too. Let's check it out. All right, so you're saying to yourself, well, how do I get a new 70s vintage pickup uh, and not pay $100,000 for it? And I say, you know what? I'm driving it. This is so nice. You step on the gas, man, look at that. Whoa, how are you doing? It's great power. It starts off with the, sounds good. Your box is smooth. Wow, this is super nice. Let me tell you, uh, the only thing that you might not like about it is it's pretty new and you're gonna need to, to drive it and, and enjoy it. That's probably what the worst is, that you're gonna enjoy it and you're gonna need to drive it and uh, and put some miles on it. That's your burden, that's your burden, right? This is great, all the gauges are working like they're supposed to. The cool thing about it is this gearbox, you don't have to switch a lot of gears all the time. You can really drive, I was driving around earlier and just drive around like in third gear if you want, or fourth gear. But it's not squeaky, it's not rattly, it's not old, the seats feel good and firm. Man, let me tell you something, man, going to dinner in this versus your regular daily driver, or taking the kids someplace, uh, this is a lot of fun. I think you're really gonna like it. All right, going for a little bit longer ride, just to take for a cruise, turned off the phone. Oh, nobody to bother me. I'm just going for a drive in my therapy machine, right? My therapy maker. I can already feel myself get lighter. Just going for a drive, got the windows down. It's a beautiful, warm, fabulous day. Four-wheel drive comes in handy if I decide I want to go out on the beach or something like that. That's just really nice. That's great. That's just great.